बहुत बार सदगुरु सेज योगा इज हिंदू जस्ट द वे ग्रेविटी इज क्रिश्चियन जस्ट बिकॉज द लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटी वॉज प्रपाउंडेड बाय आइसैक न्यूटन हु लिव इन ए क्रिश्चियन कल्चर डज इट मेक ग्रेविटी क्रिश्चियन नो योगा इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी एनी बडी हु इज विलिंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ इट कैन मेक यूज ऑफ इट इट इज रिडिकुलस टू यू वन थिंक दैट देर कुड बी अ रिलीजियस थिंग टू योगा saying this we would like to bring forward to you a journey of a muslim seeker who had deep questions on god why god created us like this and how by practicing yoga that is taught by sadguru brought him closer to the real essence of islam so now let's hear about his spiritual journey from him in his own words namaskaram my name is salah I am a graduate from Paris Sorbonne University. Originally I hail from Iraq. Uh but my family has settled in the Emirates in Abu Dhabi. That's where I was born and lived my life. And uh, now I am a volunteer at the Isha Yoga Center in Coimbatore. My story with yoga began in Paris where I was doing my uh, bachelor's study. Slowly a lot of things started stressing me and me not being being able to pass the exams and so on. I was in a very very dark place, and here I intensified my prayers, my Islamic prayers, praying to God and and praying to God and, and asking God to help me to pass these exams at any cost. I had makeup exams, so it was my last chance. So a lot of questions started to facing why are we created to suffer why are we suffering who is god a deep sense of seeking started questioning everything study i started doing my islamic prayers really hard or crying deeply with devotion asking god with everything that i have got i just want to pass and i want nothing more slowly I was searching not only in Islam but also in Christianity and other religions digging deep into these this this subject and this this knowledge let's say and uh, spirituality in general mostly on YouTube I was doing my my research on in many other sources um so this Sadhguru's video started popping up I didn't like it at first but uh, out of all the people that I watched is the only one who made logic logical sense and had sensitivity and sense to address my situation and everyone's situation and uh, all the questions that i had he somehow somehow addressed them and like other people who just avoided them he promised something that i was always looking for i was always wondering in our islamic prayers one condition is very crucial is when we want to pray If we don't have this condition fulfilled, then uh, our prayers won't be accepted. And this is what we call in Islam khushu'ah, uh, or uh, in Arabic, and in English we could refer to it as stillness. So basically, stillness is to be away from your mind. It's very calm. Your emotion is very calm. Your body is not getting in your way, and you know you're not all over the place. And this is a, a ve- it's a must. for you to be in this state for your prayers to be accepted in Islam looking at the people around me no one was at that stillness whenever i asked yeah i was thinking about this i was doing that people would pray and sign to me like, do this do that so i saw that people around me didn't have the stillness i didn't have it no one is talking about it even though everyone admits it's crucial no tools Uh, so I had to look somewhere else, and by getting to know Sadhguru and, and getting to know, uh, he answered these kind of questions. I was so eager to take another engineering and see uh, for myself what did it do to me, and that was a transition point. I took another engineering, and from that day I finished. It was a four-day program in Paris, and from that day I finished uh, after the. Uh, 
in our engineering, they asked us to be one of volunteer, and it was like wow, a wow moment for me. Like, of course, I want to volunteer after I was being touched so deeply. It was after a few months, or let's say very few weeks after practicing, I could really feel a deep sense of stillness within me. That naturally happens without me trying to do it. So the, once this, the first time stillness happened in my experience, um, it is such a wonderful state to be in. And once stillness happens, directly there is a connection with a presence that is bigger than me. And only then I understood why in Islam they have this as a crucial and a must condition for each prayer that we do, whatever small prayer it is, or the five prayers at time that we do. And I discovered uh, that, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, things that made me go away from Islam at some period of my time in, in my life is that there are so many people saying so many things that they get you so confused that you want to leave the whole thing. But the moment you, I got stillness, the moment my heart and, and let's say, spirit or soul connected to God, and I experienced a presence that is much bigger than me. I found out that the essence of Islam just lies within my heart. The essence of all the teachings in my religion, it's in here. And I think it's, it's, a, it's an unfortunate. Many people are missing it. All these tools that Sadhguru is providing that are uh, very beneficial for for people, Harvard University is doing huge studies on these tools and measuring how, how measuring and coming up with, with great results. Everyone can look at this. So scientifically, it's proven. I mean, I'm not saying scientifically it's proven because everyone is into science. And the tools that Sadhguru is providing are uh, definitely a big, big help. And as long as they're connecting me to the core and essence of my religion, not what people think. Islam is, but what Islam really is. As long as I'm exploring this and not needing people to tell me what my religion is, definitely I'm staying here for long. Um, of course, I am a Muslim. I'm still a Muslim. I am 100% a Muslim. I'm more Muslim than I ever used to be. Thankfully to, to the tools that were uh, allowing me to reach a certain stillness which allowed me to connect to God. So why the yogic sciences have gotten labelled as Hindu is because this science and technology grew in this culture. The spiritual process and the technology of yoga predates all the religions. Even before human beings started thinking of forming religious groups to fracture humanity. The idea that a human being can evolve himself came from Shiva, the Adi Yogi. So what religion you belong to has nothing to do with your ability to make use of yogic systems. Because yoga is a technology. Technology does not make any distinction as to what you believe in and what you do not believe in. Namaskar.